And we're back with part two of this cat <clears throat> tile video. <clears throat> Inking the cats now. Really hope that this tile actually fits together. I have the feeling that if I do these a lot more, they'll go faster too. Mm -hmm. Oh, your soup is cold. Someone asked if uh, Hanabi will come back. Hanabi has actually come back already. Um, well, rather, <laughs> if you're looking at it chronologically, um, you saw her as a child very briefly in uh, the, the missing moment called Another Mother. Un'altra madre. There you go. That one. Will she come back later than that, even? After what happens at Mercy with Oscar and Catherine? And Jackson and the twins? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ash looks at me askance, and I'm like, shaking my head vigorously. <laughs> <laughs> I, I never know. Like, sometimes I want to be like, yes, reveals thing. And then Eleanor looks at me like, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like, I think sometimes people ask us about details that we haven't hashed out together yet. Mm. And I think because you write a lot of uh, live rights and missing moments, there are things that you've kind of decided for the live rights. Or, and usually if you tell me about it, I'm like, yeah, that's a really good idea. Include it. But sometimes we haven't actually had a chance to figure something out. Mm. But yeah, we have talked about when Hanabi comes back. We may oh, have yeah. we may have changed the plan since then. I don't know. We often plan something and then throw it away and then make something totally different. Yeah, like the day before. Yeah, it's supposed to go up. <laughs> yeah, we're like, hey, wait a minute. What if Catherine gave Oscar a handjob and shower? <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Uh, it was supposed to be about Oscar and Marguerite. And then, <laughs> no, I, Catherine and Marguerite. Catherine and Marguerite, not Oscar and Marguerite. I just know Marguerite was supposed to be involved. And then at the last minute, you're like, hey, what if we make it about a hand job in the shower instead and you get to drive? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> you were totally into it. Do not even. You were like, yeah. And then only when you're like lovingly outlining Oscar's butt cheeks are you like, my mom is going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, oh my. That was a great night. Anyway. Oh. You know, that was one that she did not comment on on Facebook. <laughs> we can always tell when Elena's mom is disapproving of something because she won't comment or like it on Facebook. She'll normally, like, obsessively like or comment on every single thing I post unless it's something that she's like, Hmm. No. <laughs> Not my kinkle. <laughs> <laughs> Nixie asked, uh, hmm. would it be inappropriate to ask a sex-related ask? Uh, if it's about the characters, go ahead. If it's about us, um, uh, no. <laughs> Please don't. I'm glad that people like Kinkle. If, <laughs> don't joke, Ash. If people are watching this and they didn't watch the other video, they have no idea what Kinkle is, and that's fine. It's going to be like our little inside joke, guys. My little Kinkle. <laughs> oh, Nixie says, this is kind of a weird question. <laughs> Spoilers. But do the characters have any kinks? And more importantly, what really, really squicks them out? I think that Oscar is, like, really bothered by anything that involves, like, pain or blood. Um, I don't want to say that she's super squeamish about it because, you know, she is a guard. I'm sure she's seen her share of, like, gore and blood and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's definitely not something she relishes. 
in any capacity, not she, even on a small scale. Mm -hmm. Because it reminds her of Catherine, too. I yeah. think whenever she sees people get hurt, like, all she thinks about... I think Catherine also really is not cool mm -hmm. with that. Yeah. Because when she sees somebody who's hurt, even if, you know, mm -hmm. theoretically they want to be hurt because it's their kinkle she <laughs> Catherine would just be thinking about like what melody to sing to make it go away <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah um but there are two characters I have in mind who I think I would count as probably the kinkiest characters do go on one who is able to make parts of her body really buff <laughs> And one who's able to make her parts of her body really hard so she can take a beating, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't written this or anything. I mean... No, we've never written it, but, like, we've talked about it. I was just being facetious. I beg your pardon. I have totally written this. Go read the live rights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. Actually, you have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love how you're like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <clears throat> There are a couple of live rights about uh, that. Um, hmm. Let's see. They're they're not that explicit though, aren't they? It's more like hinted at. I think you've. I don't know. Okay, okay. I know that you've written before that they make a lot of noise, and Yolanda gets angry, and she punishes them by making them do chores because it that, keeps her awake. I mean, that's in missing moments. Yeah. The live rights go a little further than that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't really know what people count as explicit. You know, I... I could sit here and say I don't make a habit of writing porn, but that's not true. Um, <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to send the link to this YouTube video to your mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? So you can suffer the way I did when my mom said no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, but uh, what I, I got derailed, damn it! <laughs> Ziggy, stop licking the pillow. But sorry, what were you gonna say? You were like, I don't make a habit of writing more. Right, right, okay. So I don't Which really we all know is a lie. It's a lie. It's a filthy kinkle lie. <laughs> anyway, um y'all just don't see it. Anyway, um Kinkle is the noun and kinkly No <laughs> Adjective. An adverb. Adverb Adverb <laughs> Lolly 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 get your adverbs here. It ends in an L Y. Um Um hmm. Um, anyway, um, I keep getting derailed. Kinkly <laughs> is what happens to your fingers when you sit in the porn for too long. They get all kinkly. Are you just so happy with yourself right now? I really am. You're so inventive. Oh, I'm inventing all new languages here. I'm like crying. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm I'm not gonna speak or make any more faces at you until you finish what you were saying. God, I keep losing my train of thought. <laughs> what I was going to say is that I don't make a habit. Okay, that is a lot. In terms of porn, I'm not really sure. Like when I'm writing it, what is considered explicit and what isn't. Like I don't think I ever write things that are like. Um. Okay. Yes, I do, but I don't. Shit, I can't finish this. <laughs> Someone else say, ask me something. Um, um, Eleanor, say, say something inventive. Ashes blushing. Say something inventive, would you? <laughs> Kinkly. <laughs> kinkle, kinkle, little. Stop it. <laughs> okay. <God>. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. God, Cookie. it sounded like one of the cats was just knocking on the door, but in the litter box. Aw, <laughs> oh, Zach, you give me so much credit that I don't deserve. Zach said, suffice to say, Ash has class. Oh, darling, if only you knew! <laughs> oh, Thank <laughs> you. 
Somebody said kinkle toes. <laughs> someone asked. Oh, up in the up in the chat a little while ago, someone asked if I have written any Clementine and Gabby porn yet. Um, not that you've seen, but if slash when. I do write anything, they will certainly be quite a bit older than they are now. And it it will not be explicit. Like I have to be careful with young characters, y'all. Like <clears throat> you know, on a serious note. Seek, what are you eating? He's licking his bowl. He's trying to indicate that he wants to be walked and fed. It is 12.30. I know, I know. <clears throat> Zeke, stop it. Sean asks, Ash, how long did it take you to think up the plot of Light After? Did you have some of it in mind before you did the live for it, or did you make it up then? I made it up as I went. I mean, there were certain things that I knew... I was actually talking to this last night with, uh, talking about this last night with Laura. Um, <clears throat> uh, timelines. Timelines are the bane of my existence because I can't remember numbers for shit. And <clears throat> Clementine's timeline is one of the most important in the Sister Claire verse in general. When we did that whole timeline thing in Aeon, or whatever the program was called, we Clementine's life was like the grounding point for mm -hmm. everybody else's timeline. It was like the basis with which we used to... Like everything either was before Clementine's death or after. It was like BC before Clementine. <laughs> <laughs> AC after Clementine. <sighs> but... The reason Clementine's timeline is so important is, I mean, her the, the events in her life can't really shift around. Other people's timelines can float the tiniest bit if I need them to. Some of them, some of them. Like I can have a little bit of a little bit of wiggle room with ages, like with Catherine and Oscar, with Gabby, with pretty much everyone except the bright one. <laughs> Oh, so when I was writing Light After, I had to methodically think, how much time do I have left until Clementine kicks it? Which was a really crappy thing to have to constantly keep in the back of my mind as I'm writing something that was supposed to be largely positive. Because, you know, I really don't like to base a story around when someone's going to die, but that it was important. Uh so, a lot of it I made up on the fly, and don't take everything in it as gospel, because like Laura is saying in the chat, she really can't remember numbers, y'all, I feel for her. Laura is so right, I cannot remember numbers, and it's entirely possible that I fudge something in there without even meaning to, but, yeah, I mean... Often when I do live writes, I have a vague idea in my head of when certain events are supposed to happen. Sometimes timelines don't matter. Sometimes they matter a heck of a lot. Sometimes they matter and I don't care and I'm just writing for them. I feel like online comics or like any medium where people can interact with the creators are held up to such a much higher standard of like sticking to their own timelines and canon than a lot of TV shows or movies mm -hmm. are. We are held to a very high standard. I really think, you know, there have been times when Elena and I have been tempted to stick something in there, even though it doesn't quite match up with other things we've said in the past, because it would be really good or really cool. And then I'll be over here like, you know, though, there's going to be that one reader. Not even that one. Like, I'm going to wake up to an <clears> inbox <throat> of, like, 15 people being like, mm. but, 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 points to all the old. Mm -hmm. 
every pages. like every time I think about discrepancies, I think of, I I like have a framed picture of Laura like up here on my wall, and I'm just gonna be like, and she will notice it first. <laughs> um, that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. But really, we have to be quite careful with the story. We want it. We want it to be quite good. We try very hard to deliver unto you a well crafted story. And this means we have to think about a lot of things. Someone in the chat just said, oh, Sean says, live rights are blurry canon then. Comics are solid canon. Of course the comics are canon. That's the canon. Missing moments are canon. Live rights, as it says at the very top of the live right master list, let me read it to you. <laughs> It says, please keep in mind that none of these are guaranteed to be canon until they show up in canon. I don't plan these as I write them. These are straight from the tips of my fingers to your screen, and I hope you enjoy them. But remember, I don't edit these over much, and I don't ever really intend to. So there's no need to message me about any errors you may find. Revel in my humanity. Enjoy every extra comma or missing word. And most importantly, happy reading. So yes, if you notice I've gotten someone's age wrong somewhere, or I've made a typo or something, I don't care, because this was for fun. The live rights are there for me to work out the kinks, both the kinkles, there you go, <laughs> both literary and sexual, of the characters, <clears throat> before they do land like meteorites in the canon. This is where I work them out. Some of these things have ended up in canon. Some of them I've scrapped. Nixie asks, I hope that this isn't too weird, but could we get some insight into how Catherine decided that despite being ace, she was okay with having sex? How did she decide which acts were okay for her and which ones weren't with Oscar? Well, you know, not every ace person is like every other ace person. Uh, Asexuality is a spectrum. Some ace people are okay with having sex. Some people aren't. I mean, it, it really just does depend person to person. Catherine really loves Oscar. She does not mind having sex with Oscar. It's less about what she gets out of it than she really likes to see Oscar happy. Yeah. And it's... <clears throat> It's not like she hates it. It's more like she doesn't get as much out of it as Oscar seems to, but she is content to make Oscar feel good. It makes her happy, too. Yes. Good question. And it's not like Oscar has never pressured her to do it, either. It's no. something that she offers. Yes. Actually, it's quite often something that she initiates. <laughs> <clears throat> Although I don't think that they do often, like, overly often. No. I guess it also thinks that. Uh, I guess it also depends what you count as sex. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Anyway. Should I take the noses off completely? I just don't really know. Hmm. I, hmm. I don't know. What do y'all think about the noses? As to... Oh, Sean. Sean says, I was going to ask if you ever consulted an ace individual about it, but felt that'd be weird to do or say. Darling. I didn't... We, we are both <laughs> ace individuals. <laughs> I didn't have to consult anybody except me, myself, and I. But, you know, that said, it's not like we represent every ace person. True. We don't expect Catherine to represent every ace person. No, we really don't. That, that's, that's impossible. A, that's a really good thing to say. Say it again for the people in the back. 
we don't represent every ace person and we don't expect our character to. Yes. All we can do is write something that we can relate to. And also, like, I don't think that me and Ash are on the same part of the ace spectrum either. But We're not, no. Um, I will also say that the same can be said for Oscar. Oscar is not supposed to represent all trans people. Like, Oscar is, you know, <laughs> a certain kind of trans person, but, and so is Mamo and... Yeah, we're not trying to have the one token character of anything. Like, that's that's not what we're trying to do here. Sometimes we see in the comments people, you know, when we introduce a character that might have certain attributes, people are like, oh, well, unless they hit all these checkboxes and they're not really insert label here. And that's a little bit disconcerting because it's like, well, you know, this character is not really meant to be the, Everything at once. Yeah, that's that's not the way it works. Oh, Jamie, thank you for reminding me. Jamie just said, did the live right pictures done a while ago get up uploaded to the respective live rights? No. Elena, after this, please send them to me and I'll stick them in the docs. Okay, first you should walk our creature, though. I, I will. I will. But thank you for reminding me, Jamie. Elena went and did all the pictures and then I forgot to put them in the docs. That's all me. Sorry about that. <clears throat> <laughs> Jamie said, there are so many ships in, the, in Sister Claire, the comic might as well be a harbor. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look at all them flags. <clears throat> we have the big ships and we have the little ships. We have the hidden ships. <laughs> we have the really big old problematic one <laughs> drifting in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe things says it's a navy. No, darling. Oh, Blaze got there first. I was gonna say it's an armada. That's mm -hmm. what it is. <laughs> okay, time to do the other. The other cats. <sighs> <laughs> Scaled Sessy says, what is the most problematic ship either of y'all ship? If you mean in Sister Claire, uh, that one hasn't been revealed yet. <clears throat> Look at all these people on my live right page. Hey y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> yes, Laura. Uh, Laura is saying that she has convinced me to watch Princess Tutu. Yes! I was going to watch it a couple days ago, and then, uh... How long is it? It's, um, 26 episodes? Hmm. I was going to watch some of it a couple days ago, and then my life fell into a blender, and I did not get the time I was anticipating to be able to watch it. 
but I am going to watch it because it looks really cute. Sell it to me, Lara. What's it about? <laughs> Other than tutus. I know there's like, okay, so this is what I know about Princess Tutu having never seen Princess Tutu. I think there's like two girls who are ballerinas and one of them like is pink and the other one is like a black swan or something. Just like that movie with Natalie Portman. Do they actually turn into birds or I think it's a little gay or something. Otherwise, I don't know why so many of my friends would like it if it wasn't kind of gay. Aw, Sean's asking if I'm okay. Yeah, I'm fine, darling. I, nothing bad happened to me. I just got really busy. Unexpectedly. Without delight. I just mean that at work, instead of having... <clears throat> well... I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> it's not gay at all. <gasps> I'm shocked. How can it be popular if it's not gay at all? <laughs> What's the redeeming factor? It must be just that the people I follow ship it, even though it's not canon. Oh, I, I I have heard of free. I'm not interested in that kind of gay. When I say gay, I mean girls. <laughs> I don't care about gay guys. That's not true. I care about real life gay guys. I don't care about fictional gay guys. Mm. Well, I mean, I care about fictional gay guys. I just... I mean, it's not like I hate them. It's just I don't care enough to watch something specifically because it's for Te Yaoi, you know? Yeah. Like, um... I'm also... I'm not really into watching things that are about, like... Is the gay in Free ever actually confirmed, or is it just a lot of fan service for women? From what I've heard, it's it's fan service. Yeah. It's not. Like. But you know, if that's what you're into, if you want the fan service. I just, I don't think that it's made for gay men who need representation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like, I mean... I've actually, I admit, I have seen a few episodes of Free. I saw a little bit of it, too. I was curious, and I thought the animation was pretty. I was interested not for Te Yaoi, but because I was also on many swim teams. And I did think they animated the swimming really accurately, mm -hmm. which impressed me from the trailers and stuff. I was like, oh, they did their homework for that. See, play right down. Stop eating shit off our floor. Hmm. Doodle Doodle says, do y'all have some really good gay recommendations? Steven Universe. I was gonna say Steven Universe. Um, well, hmm. <laughs> I took the only good one. That sucks that there's really only one right now. Um, I'm trying to think. I can't really say for, like, live action TV or anything, because I don't really, we don't really watch very much of that. Don't watch the 100. Mm -hmm. Don't even. I'm not. No, we are not going to discuss that. We are not. Although I, I hear that the Xena reboot that's coming out, you know, not super soon, but that is going to be like canonically gay this time instead of just, you know. They did some things that were pretty overt, I think, in the original Xena, but this one is supposed to be even more like. No, Zeke, no. Get, get down. He really has to go. Why don't you just take a quick break to walk him? He hasn't been in a really know, long time. I know. It's fine. I'll handle it for like the 10 minutes or whatever it takes for you to take him. Okay. <clears throat> and while Ash is gone, I'll sing Hamilton song. Hey, I want to sing. <laughs> you can sing when you get back with me. Aww. I won't sing without you. I won't. Aww. Oh my god, I can't even get the sound of his ears. Oh. 
This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm happy to see people recommending LGBT comics because I don't really have time to read a lot of other web comics because I'm so busy doing this one. But I do like to hear about other web comics that have good LGBT representation so I can promote them and recommend them to people. devour all of your soup? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Do you want some more? No, I'm okay. I wish there was more cheesecake, though. Well, I'm terribly sorry. You ate it all. <laughs> all right, creepy the creeperson. Who's a creeper? You should tell them about new food and switch seek to. Oh yeah, we switch seek to a food called what is it? Can Royal Cannon? Uh -huh. Canin. Canin. Uh, -huh. uh And his breath is so much better. <laughs> speaking of, hey Ash. Speaking of his food, can you grab like the old food of his that's in the fridge and throw it out? Right now. Yeah. While you're taking him, might as well. Because it's just stinking up the fridge right now. But his old food, it smelled bad. It smelled like rotten. Are you okay? What'd you do? Oh, did you get it on yourself? No, I'm scraping my thumb. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. Oh. oh, man, it's got juice all over it. Ugh. Nasty meat juice. It smells like rotten mess.
Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, I've been really meaning to want to see, I've been really meaning to want to see Carol. Wow, that was very uh, redundant, but I, I want to see it. We missed it while it was in theaters, and I've heard really good things about it, but I haven't actually gotten to see it. Yeah, I think that if me and Ash were going to be Ruby and Sapphire, I think Ash would definitely be Ruby. I think she's more like Ruby than I'm like Sapphire. <clears throat> but, but I do think that we fit into those categories pretty well. I don't think I'm quite as, I don't keep things to myself as much as Sapphire does. 
I think I'm a little more outspoken and I think I wear my emotions a little more than she does, but you know, it'd be hard to be quite that much of a nice queen, pun intended. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm a little more chill than Ash. But yeah, I'm a little less chill than Sapphire. My birthstone is opal. So if I was going to be a gem based on that, that's who I'd be. Ashes is Alexandrite. Oof. Cute kitty yawns. Mm. Yep, this is grim. Welcome back. Yes, yes, Nikki, yes. Mama's working on it. <sighs> Excuse me. Salute. Oh. Didn't have too much fun with that one, did you? No. I mean, we did have some fun. Not an excessive amount.
Good night. Some people are leaving. Sean wants to know whose meow that was. That was Ang. That's me. <laughs> that was literally me. Sneaky. Try not to inhale the food, Zeke. Ang was getting really excited because I was giving him fresh water. He doesn't care if I gave him fresh water five minutes ago. He just gets really excited about that bowl. He's a Siamese. Yeah. That's what they do. You happy Zeke. You're a good boy. Yes, you are. Mama loves you. <laughs> Sean said, so, both of Ash's animals are up, Ang and Zeke. <laughs> They're all my animals. All of them. Ay, ay, ay. Everyone's awake right now. Well, where's Winkle? Do you see her? She might be hiding upstairs. True. Oh, Ashley asks, do you still have your frogs, Ash? Yes, I do. I have one tank of frogs here at our apartment, well, house, and I have one group of frogs at my office at work. I'm going to be working on a much bigger tank soon. And you'll see pictures of it on my Tumblr. We should get that stuff for you tomorrow. Yeah, if we can find it. Uh, we should have gone to Jerry's today. We could go tomorrow. I meant to tell you and then I forgot. <laughs> Sean wants to know if we can have a Winkle concert. Unfortunately, I don't know where Winkle is. She is probably lurking upstairs and I don't want to disturb her. Besides, David's the best at playing Winkle. <laughs> Best at playing the kinkle. <laughs> Zeke's like, did I hear a kinkle? <laughs> Aw, Ashley said, yay, I want to draw more of your frogs. They're very cool. I think they're very cool too, but you know what I think's even cooler? You drawing them! So please, continue. Hey, it's Grant! Hi, Grant! Hey, Grant! Grant says, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What, what? What? Oh, yay! Grant got hired at the courthouse. Yay! Yay! Good job. Omedeto. Good job, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to say that in the good job, Garnet <laughs> voice. I don't know if it worked. That is so excellent. I'm so happy for you. Hooray! Oh, hooray! Don't do it in the creepy rotoscoped hobbit voice. <laughs> oh, hooray! <laughs> but no, for real, that is such great news. I'm mm -hmm. very, very happy for you, Grant. Oh, what a celebration we'll have today. Thank goodness! I could continue, but I won't. <laughs> We couldn't be happier, thank goodness. Sean wants us to do it in the plague voice. Do what? What do you want us to do in the plague voice? <laughs> I'm glad it's become a thing. It's 
of a celebration that cleaned away. We couldn't be happier. Thank goodness. Ah, Ryan asks, so I hear you're planning a West Coast trip. Any chance you'll be swinging through San Diego? There's a chance, but nothing is set in stone yet. So we'll have to see. We'll definitely be posting about meetup times and stuff when we start planning those. We are Places we will be for sure are LA mm -hmm. and San Francisco. the plague voice. <laughs> Do it, Elena. Pestilence! Plague! <laughs> <laughs> it's Marguerite's voice. Mm. Zach is asking, would you ever be interested in the Pacific Northwest? If you mean to live there? Um, maybe. Like, he's asking specifically about Oregon, Seattle, Juneau, Sitka, Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know if I would want to live in Alaska, but I would certainly want, I mean, I'd have to visit before determining that. Uh, I've heard a lot of really great things about the Pacific Northwest. I think it could be cool. Everybody I know who's moved to Oregon really loved, or specifically Portland. Mm -hmm. Hipster city. Yeah. I'm not sure if Portland is really our speed. I have to visit. I mean, I've never been. I, I have no idea. I've visited quite a lot of the U.S., but I, you know, I certainly haven't been everywhere. And I've never, for longer than a few months, I've never lived outside of North Carolina. So, I mean, I've, you know, lived for a few months here and there in various parts of Asia, but never for longer than three or four months at a stretch. So it would be cool to one day actually live somewhere that's not North Carolina. That would be cool. runs off to fend off an attacker. Seek, attack, aim. Attack. He brings the chewy. <laughs> no, he brings his bone. He really wants me to throw it. Give it to Mama. <laughs> Give it to Mama. Give it I to wonder Mama. if they can hear. They probably can. <laughs> oh, oh, almost hit the lamp. I have accidentally hit Cookie so many <laughs> times because she'll try to chase the bone and then it'll bounce awkwardly and it'll just like smack her in the head and she'll go. <laughs> <laughs> give it to Mama. You better give that bone to Mama. Give it to Mama. Okay, you just want to lick it. All right. Go He's trying it. to make you jealous. I don't care. <laughs> Mm, He's cool. like, look what I got. Don't you want to chew on this? Don't you? I know you do. Ryan wants to know, have either of us been to California before, or will this be our first time? I've lived in California for eight years. I have visited. It's the place I've lived the longest at any for any stretch of time. It's 
why I sound Californian, even though I've lived in the South actually longer than all the time I've spent in California combined. I should say, I've never been in one state or one country as long as I was in California. Any questions, Ash? Mm -mm. Well, uh, Sean wanted to know how hard it would be to sing in the plagued voice. Well, I don't know. I don't know either. I could try, but I don't know what to sing. Yes, and California was where the elephant seal thing happened to Elena. Yeah. Yep. Fourth grade. Maybe it was third grade, actually. If somebody could go find the YouTube video where I talk about the elephant seal thing, that would be great so that if anybody asked, I could just give them a link directly to it. Because <laughs> I don't I don't want to repeat it again. <laughs> oh, but it's such a good story. It's a good story, but I'm sure that, I don't know, I, I think that time that I recorded it was probably the best recording. Oh, Lara asks, oh, I do have a question. If Magpie is tagging after Jackson and company, is she, like, talking to Oscar, or... No. No. Magpie is not currently talking to anyone. Except Margie. Yes. Well, she just doesn't know it. Yeah. Hmm. Zach asks, do Catherine or Oscar or even Marguerite still remember Magpie? Catherine and Oscar remember Magpie, yes. Uh, Marguerite? No. At least not, not as well as Magpie might hope. Lara is asking, so is Magpie not talking to Oscar because she's pissed? I assume Magpie was not made aware of fake baby plans. You know, that's a good question. But, I mean, Magpie's not talking to Oscar right now for another very specific reason. I don't think Magpie was ever aware of the, no. the baby plan. Magpie was not super in touch with them at that point. Yeah. Like, Magpie, you'll find out more about this eventually, uh, but specifically after the fall of Eden, Magpie kind of distanced themselves from interacting with a lot of people. Guilt. Okay, I'm going to save this and take it into Photoshop. And we'll see what I can do with it. Okay. How are your wrists, baby? Mm. Need to take a break? No, or? it's okay for now. Oh, apparently I've been saving it as a Photoshop file this entire time. So that works well. Hmm. Polina Castle asks, how would Magpie react if they knew about the baby plan? Probably not with much favor. 
Magpie would not like that at all. No. No, no. Magpie would probably not have any alternate suggestion, but would definitely not approve of fake baby. <laughs> like, Magpie would be like, that's the best thing you could come up with! <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> You're supposed to be the smart one. <laughs> Pointing at Catherine. <laughs> Unbelievable. I can't take all the the credit for the accent. That's mostly Ash is doing. <laughs> Magpie was almost, like, aside from the visual design, Magpie was Ash's baby. <laughs> People in the chat are talking about the baby plan. The baby plan, as, as Blaze said, was not Gabby's idea. Gabby just went along. They had it. to get her to agree to it. Yeah. That was, like... She was she was the thing that could make their plan work. They had had the plan, and they were trying to get her on board. It's implied. Because uh, Oscar says she finally agreed to the plan. Okay, so let me... <laughs> Sean is asking, what British actor would you want to voice Magpie, Ash? I have no idea. I don't I don't know much about British actors, I'm sorry to say. I know Maggie Smith would be Marguerite. Yes. Without a doubt. Oh. Cookie's chasing her tail. Oh. Dragging your bed across the floor. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. Bloodsucker Proxy is asking, what about James Spader as Grimm? Or, I think that's how you would say that person's name. I don't know who that is, darling. I'm so sorry. You are asking the wrong person when it comes to, like, celebrities or anything like that. Grimm would not have a male voice. Grim would also not have a female voice. I think Grim would have two voices speaking at the same like time. An amalgamation of voices. Mm -hmm. Maybe more than two, actually. Yeah. It, it might 
fluctuate. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ryan wants to know who's dragging their bed. Zeke, being a doofus. What comes next? You've been freed. Do you know how hard it is to lead? You're on your own. How's this? What do you think of this pattern, dear? Hmm. Cute. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Wow. <laughs> I love that part of this song. Do you have a clue what happens now? Oceans rise, empires fall. I don't remember the rest. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Next to Washington, they all look small. That's the that's the next song, like his next song. <clears throat> Laura comes crashing in with the correct lyrics. <laughs> yes, thank you, Laura. Zeke, I don't want your bone. Thank you. Just kidding. Yes, I do. Give it to mom. How about this? It's, how about this color palette? Purple and yellow. It's very fitting for mm -hmm. these particular cats. It's, I think it's very cute. Now let's try tiling it and see how it looks. I thought this would take me so much less time than it did. <laughs> Yay! Look oh, at it! It worked! How lovely. <laughs> Ryan said, holy crap, it tiles. <laughs> oh, Ryan, you not? I, I think Ryan wasn't here at the beginning. Ryan missed 
missed the part where I was explaining that's how it works. Yeah! So this could be like a fabric or something, or maybe on a pencil case or mm -hmm. a notebook or whatever. Yeah. You okay? <clears throat> you alright, dear? Need some water. Here we go. But I think I'll post this as this month's wallpaper. I'll make a, a tiley version that people can use. And with that said, I think we should ask if there's any last questions before we <clears throat> say goodnight. <clears throat> hmm. Indeed. Are there any last questions? Make them count, y'all. This is so cute. You like it? I wonder if I should try to like... I don't know, it seems like a lot of the Grimm's are clumped together and a lot of the Snowies are clumped together. I think it's fine. Uh, Grant wants to know Claire's favorite food. Oh, that's canon. Yeah, it's actually on the website. I've done forgotten what it is. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you should know that. I forgot. <laughs> but I know that we put it in the, her bio. Oh, her bio. Yeah, her favorite food, peaches and wood. Oh, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. Right. Is that is that it? There's there's more questions. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Ah, Sean wants to know: Do you guys plan on borrowing Laura to your house for a period of time? Borrowing? Uh. Uh. She's not a library book, but um, I mean, we would be happy to have her here. I would be delighted. I would be too. Hmm. But it's expensive. Laura lives in Brazil. Cephalopod Queen wants to know, are any of Olga's family still around? That's a good question. Hmm. Oh, Polina Castle wants to know, where would Olga and Jackson honeymoon if they could have a wedding? Bavaria. <laughs> <laughs> the motherland. The motherland. <laughs> That's not even where Olga's from. Give me that. <laughs> it's sort of based on Bavaria, but more on Russia. But let's no. be real, she would not take... Romania. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. I'm just getting sleepy. She would probably not take her. Well, I know. Romania is a pretty nice place. Yeah, it's really beautiful. I say having never been there and only seen pictures. No, it is very beautiful. Also, having never been there but seen a lot of pictures. <laughs> yeah. Oceans rise and rise oh, that's a question. Oh, what about uh, Catherine and Oscar? Where would they honeymoon? Uh, I don't know. Nice in France. <laughs> um, hmm. The coast of France. Really? The coast? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, they go to, like, <laughs> Paris. <laughs> the Somewhere nice and away from water. Yeah. Um, go to Michelle's cousin's house in Versailles. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Or they could go to Austria where... Uh, I say Austria in quotes. Alpinum. Yeah. They could go to Alpinum, where Sylvia's from. Mm -hmm. Oh, that reminds me. There was a very good question earlier that, like, I it was one of those instances where I read it and I was like, what a damn good question! And then I forgot to answer it. Um, <clears throat> someone asked, and I'm so sorry, I've forgotten who you are, and I'm probably going to mangle your question, but it was more like, are there other places besides what's on the map in uh, in that one panel where 
Marie and Rosalie are talking about Throne of Mare. Yes, there there are a lot of places. That map actually needs to be tweaked a tiny bit. Uh, <clears throat> we have since planned quite a bit more of the world. Something that I would really like to do quite soon is to someplace put, like, you know, an actual map of various places to give you all some idea of the scale of the world. And there is a certain part coming up where we could do that. So just keep your eyes peeled. That was a really good question. Oh, Ashley wants to know, I don't remember if this is said in the comic or missing moments, but did Andre survive the fall of Throne of Mare? No. He did not. I'm going to try this back. On my Tumblr. My Tumblr. I'll try on the sister of their Tumblr. It's needed a new tile background for a while. Mm -hmm. Where? Oh, well, there, here it is. All alone across the sea When your people say they hate you Don't come crawling back to me La da 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 La da 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 You're on your own Look at that ancient background tile mm. on the Sister Claire blog. It's so old. Time to give it an upgrade. Yeah! Look how cute that is! Precious! Yeah. Saved. And on that note, I think it's time to say goodnight. All right, everyone, thank you all so much for coming. We had such a good time talking to you this evening. You had such good questions. Yes, you did. When would you like to do another live draw, Elena? Any thoughts? Um, I don't know about a live draw because I have to work on pages this weekend. Mm -hmm. um, maybe will, you can do a live write. Yes, I will be doing a live write on Sunday. I'm going to update the schedule very soon, and I'll make an announcement in probably tomorrow about what time the live, live write will be on Sunday. Uh, I will probably write for several hours, being that I haven't been able to do them in a while. Uh, the past couple, I missed one because I was sick, and then the other one, no one showed up, so I didn't do it because I was like, well, if no one's going to be around to watch me do my magic, why do it? Anyway, <clears throat> so look for me on Sunday evening, and until then, adieu, and we should sing. Mm-hmm. Good night, good night, good night, good night.